हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो टूटोरियल आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ हीट मैप यूजिंग बी बी ए सो देर आर सम कलर इंडेक्सेस विच वी विल यूज टू क्रिएट अ हीट मैप आई हैव जस्ट पेस्टेड वन स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ दीज कलर इंडेक्सेस हीयर सो यूजिंग द नंबर ऑफ दीज कलर इंडेक्सेस वी विल प्रिपेयर अ हीट मैप I have created a small example here. We have ten managers here, and these are the SLAs which they have given throughout the year, from Jan to December. Now, I have one situation here. If any manager has, you know, given an SLA greater than or equal to eighty-five percent. I will have to show it in light purple color. If the values are greater than or equal to seventy six or less than eighty five percent, then this should be highlighted in light blue color. And lastly, if it is less than seventy six percent, then we will use light pink color. So let me just you know copy these three. color indexes so 37 is for light blue so let me write it here so the color index will be 37 then light pink so i will go there and copy 38 38 and 39 so This is thirty-eight, and light purple purple is thirty-nine. So this is for our convenience, guys. We have written down these color indexes here. Now I will start writing the code in order to get the conditional formatting applied using VBA. So first of all, I will go to developer tab and. I will go to Visual Basic. And in Visual Basic, I will insert one module. And I will be writing the code here. So I am saying of create heat map. So guys, I will be declaring some of the variable so first of all i'm saying bin uh, ws as worksheet in my range as range i will be creating a dynamic range so that my values will get dynamic no matter if today i have 10 managers here if tomorrow if the manager you know the count of manager gets increased so it will work dynamically so i will be creating a dynamic range here then i'm saying dim e cell means each cell as range now guys uh, i am defining this sla sheet so i will be using this set keyword here set ws s equals to sheet sl set my range but guys before i create a dynamic range i will require one last row here so i'm saying last row equals to ws s dot cells dot count comma my data is there on is getting started from column e so one two three four five so this is fifth column so I will be using this column here so I am saying five dot and excel up dot row now I will create my dynamic range. so i am saying wss dot range cells 
Oh, guys. Uh, so it is getting started from row number seven. So sixty-six is falling on row number seven. So I am saying row index is seven, and column index is three. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth. Then else. So this will be changed to last four guys. And column index number because since you know there are you know twelve months in a year, so it will never get increased. So I can take my last column as. 16 so in place of 5 <coughs> i will be using 16 so this is my dynamic range now guys i will run one one for each loop here so i am saying for each p cell in my range now i will apply my condition so i am saying if e cell dot value Is greater than or equal to eighty-five percent means point eighty-five. Zero point eighty-five we can write. Then what should happen? Then I'm saying interior dot color index equals to light purple. So. The color index for light purple is thirty nine, so I will be using thirty nine. Then it will be changed to else if, and if it is greater than or equal to seventy six, as per the requirement, and if this is less than. Point eighty five. Then it will be the color index Then color index will be changed to light blue. That is thirty seven. Else, it it will be changed to thirty eight. Now I will close the if statement first of all, and then my loop. Guys, I will be trying it one by one. Let's see if it's working. I will be using the F8 key to, uh, you know, check it one by one. So, as per the first value, which is given here, it is falling. in this category so light pink color should be you know highlighted here so it is pink then next value is 89 so purple so let's so if i will run this code all together in one time i have got my heat map very beautiful heat map ready So guys, you can have a look at this data, but this is a dynamic. I will show you. Let me just reset this once again. So, no fill, and let me remove all the values, and then let me add some more managers here. So ten, then this is eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen and lastly fifteen. Now let me check if and these are the SLAs they have given through the year. So let's say they have given the least value as thirty-five and the most value as ninety-nine.
according to the requirement if i will the you know data close this if i go view macros and if i run this you can see it has given me the conditional formatting updated till manager number 15 so this is a dynamic guys and if your values are getting changed it will work accordingly so this is the code and this is a very small so for your convenience i am writing here getting dynamic range here in this section i have created a dynamic range so whenever you will be creating a range using this logic you can create a dynamic range guys okay and you will require one last always remember this and then you can run your for each loop whatever wherever the dynamic range is concerned then you can use this okay so guys for your convenience and uh, you know if you download this workbook in order to get the code i will you know give you a link in the description so that you could download this and understand the logic which i have uh, you know uh, written here so guys i this is this is all about this video and hope uh, you have found something uh, you know useful in this video and if you have liked this video kindly like subscribe and share with friends and if you are new to my channel it is my heartiest request you subscribe and support guys